Good evening, beloved in Jesus, Brother James here. And I want to start by asking you a question. And the question is this, are you struggling with spiritual oppression? Are you struggling with spiritual oppression? Now, are you trying to read? Trying to read your Bible? Are you trying to pray, to get through to the Lord? Or simply just trying to worship the Lord? But every time you do, you fail. You're failing at doing so. Well, first of all, let me encourage you, you're not alone. There's plenty of people who are struggling. I speak with uh, each week who are struggling to get in the Word, who are struggling to worship and to pray and to seek the Lord, even on the simplest of things. So you're not alone. Now, this last Sunday's message was entitled, Are You Ignorant of Satan's Strategies? And in that, I covered three things. The things were, number one, biblical insight into the supernatural realm number two how to spot it and number three what to do about it let me read that again number one was biblical insight into what is taking place going on in the supernatural realm how to spot it what does it look like um, how does it manifest what form does it take in our lives and what to do about it and in this message i give very clear biblical instruction of how to overcome it let me just encourage you with this Jesus gives us the pattern praise God so I want to invite you it's going to be tomorrow we're going to be fasting as a church from 12 noon a 24 hour fast tomorrow Wednesday and at 7 in the evening this is all UK time we're going to be gathering together as a church during the fast to pray and to worship and praise the Lord. That's what we're gonna do about it. So let me leave you with this. Two scriptures, one from Old Testament, one from the New Testament. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says this. This is the Lord speaking. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. And when we come, and fast as a church, we are humbling ourselves before the Lord. Very clear biblical, both Old and New Testament. So let's give you this New Testament text. This is from James chapter 4. It says this, humble yourselves. And that's what fasting is. Self-humbling, self-denial. It says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. And here comes the promise. And he will raise you up. Praise the Lord. I will um, attach a copy of the message below and uh, encourage you to watch it, even to put it on, put it on in the car, wherever it is, to get this teaching and this biblical insight of what you can do about spiritual oppression and what form does it take. I'm sure you're going to recognize there's aspects of your life in this message. So I do hope it encourages you. So let me say once again, I invite you to join us as a church for 24 hours of fasting and humbling before holy God. Until then, God bless you and be with you.